Growing up, I experienced a lot of um, a lot of trauma, a lot of um, heartbreak, and uh, at a point in my life, I was really, really down, very, very depressed, very, very sad. Didn't have the answers. Um, actually, turned to drugs and alcohol as a what I thought was a solution to that. Um, so, fast forward some time, um, my life spiraled out of control and I could no longer even manage with the drugs or the alcohol. And I walked into my first ever mental health appointment and uh, saw therapists and saw caseworkers and a whole team of people, um, substance use disorder treatment. Um, and the whole team was able to uh, give me the tools necessary to um, Pull, my, pull myself up and um, become the person I've always wanted to be. Mental health does not always need to have a negative connotation to it. So when we think of mental health, again, it could just be as simple as just some minor stressors due to work or family life. It doesn't have to mean a serious or chronic mental illness. In my role, mental health really means to me offering um, a safe space for patients to come, um, to talk, uh, to know that I'm not going to look at them in any bias in any way, um, promoting them to have self-care, um, to be able to check in with themselves, but also have someone else to come to, um, to talk to. For me, mental health is something that individuals experience at all different um, ages of their life, and mental health for me also specifically focuses on trauma. And trauma could be anything from a natural disaster like a tornado or a fire to man-made traumas like sexual assault or physical assault. Uh, we also see a lot of trauma in our veterans as PTSD. Uh, and trauma has a huge impact on individuals and the symptoms of their mental health. Um, there's again always been a push for our physical health. Uh, but not so much the mental health side of things. And I've seen through working in different settings how much that really does impact somebody's life overall. In primary care, we see many different types of patients. We deal with many different situations and different diagnoses. Diagnoses can impact the person's mental health tremendously. Certain diagnoses, such as the various different types of cancers, can cause a person to experience different feelings, such as like depression, anxiety, things like that. Sometimes life throws some things at you that maybe you don't expect or don't understand uh, and it may have an impact on your well-being. As a man, that um, men aren't supposed to uh, be depressed or upset or have feelings and especially in um, rural areas where I grew up, you know, if you were feeling sad or, or unworthy that you were supposed to just put on your uh, boots, tie your, tie your laces and just man up and take care of it. And, uh, sadly, um, that's a common misconception, especially in our area. One of the biggest things with trauma is we have to remember to ask ourselves what has happened to you instead of what's wrong with you. So a lot of the times we might see a child acting out or they have some type of behavior and we don't understand it and all we might think is what is wrong with that kid? But really, we should be asking ourselves what's happened to that child. I think the patients taught me that no one person is the same. Um, they all come in with different backgrounds, different stories. Um, they might all have the same um, problem in common, but how they go about it, how um, they take care of themselves, how they do everything is different. Um, so you really can't just truly, it's not, mental health is not one size fits all. It's different in every patient. The biggest thing that I've learned is that the thing that we see in them as the problem, which would be like their maladaptive behavior. For some people, that's substance use. For some people, it might be cutting. Um, sometimes it's just lashing out or anger. We see those things as the problem, and our clients see that as their solution. It's the one thing that they've always used to manage their symptoms. Um, and so to say to them, you have to stop doing this or take it away, is really scary, um, and we've learned that that's just not the best approach with our clients. Just to show up, you know, come in, um, be honest, be open, um, give them the benefit of doubt, and just tell them what you're going through, you know. Um, it's your story, you know the story. All you have to do is show up and tell them and, and be open-minded. Maybe they can uh, give you some tools and some help that'll make you uh, get through what you're going through. Going to a new appointment for the first time or even calling somebody and inquiring about a mental health appointment can be super intimidating. I know that some patients don't feel comfortable at first coming 
because this is something that they've never done before. But one thing that I can promise with clarity is if you decide to come here and get an appointment with us, you won't feel intimidated. You'll be greeted by two wonderful people and the front office staff will get you everything that you need for appointment. And then you'll be able to see one of our amazing providers. And as you've heard from them, they really care about you and they really care about your well-being. As I went through recovery, as I got stabilized in my mental health, as I got some, some clean time from drugs and alcohol, um, I decided to go to school and I went to school at uh, Hannibal Grange University and uh, got my bachelor's degree and just uh, wanted to be one of them people that I admired so much for helping me.